qualitative, quantitative, I, in some ways, not a helpful distinction. Um, if, as a historian, you write a sentence which says, in such and such century, most people did this, or more on more occasions, that's a, quali that's a quantitative statement. What do you mean by most? More than 50%, more than 90%. These are important differences and, and not, not merely quibbling. And people say things like, most or generally or, 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 or often, my first reaction is to say, how many, how often is it typical? Typicality and atypicality is key to history. Uh, if you're looking at a case study, you need to know whether that person or that event is typical or, or atypical. Uh, and at least I feel that I do. <laughs> uh, that doesn't diminish the, the value of the um, atypical case study, but it enhances its value to know uh, whether something is, is typical or atypical of the period or, or, or of the mindset. Um, so in a sense we're all using something statistical. Statistics doesn't simply mean having to have a database that's got more than a million sets, having to have a spreadsheet that has complex functions built into it. Um, and most of what I do doesn't do those things. Most of what I do is simply correlating who wrote to who. Uh, which words were used in which type of correspondence did people uh, it's one of the things I've discovered, people tended to call each other beloved friends when they were uh, 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 in conflict with each other <laughs> rather than when they were cooperating. Now I could pick a few random examples and, 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 and see. One of the things that the database has shown me is that um, examples of the use of particular language in startling context, people writing to strangers in very affectionate terms is something which has been discussed a lot in medieval studies and many people, including me in my earliest publications, have, have stated this as characteristic of the genre. It's extremely interesting, but I've discovered it's also extremely rare. It doesn't mean it's not important, uh, but it ch m very much changes the nature. The cases that were um, commonly cited as being typical, we can now see are not typical and therefore it doesn't mean they're not important but historically they require a different explanation um, and that is something which yeah I suppose I could have um, spent years and years counting card indexes to find but um, I can answer very many, give many examples of similar sort of questions where, um, where um, traditional or um, where particularly interesting examples uh, can be put into, into context in that way.